We have new details in a biker gang case. The Target 12 investigators have been tracking from the very beginning. Newly unsealed court documents are shedding new light on a dramatic raid on the headquarters of the Hells Angels in Providence. You may remember this dramatic footage. State police using an armored vehicle to barge their way into the Messer Street Clubhouse. Now we're learning more about what investigators found inside. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the details. Tim. The search warrants were under seal for 30 days. They now show state police detectives have been keeping watch on the biker gang's headquarters using a secret video surveillance system. When the state police rammed their way into the Hells Angels clubhouse on June 12th, they had a no-knock search warrant signed by a judge in hand. Inside, the state police seized 25 items, including three handguns and an axe hidden in a ceiling. They also searched a Tesla that was being driven by the president of the Hells Angels, Joseph Lancia. Lancia was apparently borrowing the car from fellow Full Patch member Lance Imore, who was later indicted in the incident. Lancia is accused of shooting one round at a Mack truck being driven by Richard Starnino. The affidavit unsealed Monday says Starnino was a prospect for the Hells Angels, but there has been an ongoing dispute between them that led to Richard Starnino leaving the Hells Angels. Police say Starnino told them he did not stop after the shooting and proceeded to make his work delivery. State police detectives searched the truck and found a bullet hole in the passenger side pillar. State police say they have the entire incident caught on video surveillance. Lancia and three others charged in this case have pleaded not guilty. The Hells Angels Facebook page shows there was a fundraiser to help pay for Lancia's legal bills two weeks after the raid. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.